Did you know that chilies are so hot they even went to the moon? Yes, that's right. NASA sent chili seeds into space to see if they could grow in zero gravity. Now that's some seriously out of this world spice. Chilies are not just fiery additions to our dishes, but they also hold a rather astronomical record. Imagine these tiny powerhouses of heat, defying gravity and possibly sprouting in the vast expanse of the cosmos. It's fascinating, isn't it? But it's not just the astronauts who get to have all the fun. You too can embark on a unique journey with chilies. And don't worry, we won't be sending you or your chilies to space, at least not yet. We're going to explore the world of chili farming right here on our home planet. We'll guide you through the process, from selecting the right seeds to harvesting the fieriest chilies. Now, let's bring those chilies back down to Earth and learn how to grow the hottest ones right in your backyard. Growing chilies is not just about adding spice to your dishes, it's also about adding spice to your life. It's an exciting, rewarding, and yes, a hot process. Today, we're embarking on a thrilling journey. A journey to grow the hottest chilies right at your home. Imagine the pride you'll feel when you serve up a dish spiced with chilies from your own garden. Chilies that might just be the hottest in the world. This isn't just a hobby, it's a challenge, a test of your green thumb and your taste buds. It's a journey that will take you from seed to harvest, from soil to plate. And we're here to guide you every step of the way. So, if you've enjoyed what you've heard so far, please do hit that like button and subscribe to our channel. Ready to turn up the heat? Let's dive right in. You can't make a fire without a spark, and you can't grow hot chilies without the right seeds. Chili seeds are as diverse as the fiery fruits they yield. From the humble jalapeno to the infamous Carolina Reaper, each chili has its own unique heat level, measured in Scoville heat units or SAUs. If you're looking to grow the hottest chilies, then you're going to want to get your hands on seeds from the upper echelons of the Scoville scale. The Carolina Reaper, for example, holds the title of the world's hottest chili pepper, with an average heat level of over 1 million SHUs. Then there's the Trinidad Maruga Scorpion, another contender for the hottest chili title, with a similar heat level. These chilies are not for the faint-hearted, but for those of you who love a challenge, they're the perfect choice. Now you may be wondering, where can you find these super hot chili seeds? Many garden centers and nurseries will carry a range of chili seeds, but for the hottest varieties, you might need to look a little further. There are numerous online retailers specializing in chili seeds, many of whom ship worldwide. Just be sure to check the authenticity and quality of the seeds before purchasing. Whether you're buying from a physical store or online, it's important to look for seeds that are fresh, as they have a higher germination rate. Also, consider the climate and growing conditions in your area. Some chili varieties prefer warm, humid conditions, while others can tolerate cooler climates. Once you've chosen your seeds, it's time to start planning your chili growing adventure. But before you get too excited, remember that growing super hot chilies is not a task to be taken lightly. These fiery fruits require plenty of care and attention and they're not recommended for novice gardeners. So are you ready to take on the challenge of growing the world's hottest chilies? Just remember the hotter the chili, the hotter the challenge. But don't worry we're here to guide you through it. Just like us, chilies need a comfortable home to thrive. And for chilies, that home is the soil. The first thing you need to know about chilies is that they love warmth and they thrive in well-draining soil. Think of it like a beach vacation for your chili plants, they want to bask in the sun, and they don't want to sit in standing water. So, sandy or loamy soil is your best bet. Clay soil, not so much. It retains water and can lead to root rot. Now let's talk about preparing the soil. You're going to want to start by turning over the soil. This breaks it up, making it easier for the roots to spread and grow. You can use a spade or a tiller for this task. But remember, the goal is to make the soil loose and airy. Next, let's add some nutrients to our soil. Chili plants, like most plants, need nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium. But chili plants also have a special affection for calcium and magnesium. So, to meet all these nutrient needs you can add a balanced garden fertilizer, some bone meal for calcium, and a bit of Epsom salts for magnesium. Mix these into the soil. And don't forget about the soil pH. Chili plants prefer slightly acidic to neutral soil, about 6 to 7 on the pH scale. You can test your soil with a simple pH kit from your local garden store. If your soil is too acidic you can add some lime to raise the pH, and if it's too alkaline, you can use sulfur to lower it. So we've turned our soil, added our nutrients, and adjusted our pH. What's next? Well, if you're planting directly in the ground, you'll want to make mounds about three feet apart for your plants. 
This gives them plenty of room to spread out and grow. All right, we've prepared our soil. It's loose, nutrient rich, and at the perfect pH for our chili plants. Soil ready? Great. Now, let's sow those fiery seeds. Now that the stage is set, it's time for the star of the show, the chili seeds. It's showtime, folks. Let's get those chili seeds into the soil. First things first, you need to make small holes in the soil, about a quarter of an inch deep. These are your chili seeds new homes. Gently place one seed into each hole. It's important not to overcrowd your chili plants. Remember, they need their space to grow and thrive. Once your seeds are in their new homes, cover them lightly with soil. They don't need to be buried deep, a light covering will do. Think of it as tucking them in for a good night's sleep. Now let's talk about water. Chili plants love a good drink, but they don't like to swim. Water them just enough to keep the soil moist, not soaking wet. Overwatering can lead to root rot, which can spell disaster for your chili plants. And what about sunlight? Chili plants are sun lovers. They need at least six hours of sunlight each day. So make sure your chili plants are in a place where they can soak up plenty of sun. As your chili plants grow, you'll need to keep an eye out for pests and diseases. Aphids, whiteflies, and fungal diseases can all pose a threat to your chili plants. If you spot any signs of trouble, nip it in the bud quickly. There are plenty of organic solutions available to help you keep your chili plants healthy. Finally, don't forget to feed your chili plants. They need a balanced diet to produce those fiery fruits. A good quality compost or a slow-release fertilizer should do the trick. Remember, patience is key. But soon enough, you'll see your chilies turning from green to red hot. So keep nurturing your chili plants and they'll reward you with a fiery harvest. The wait is over. Your chilies are red, ripe, and ready to be picked. Knowing when to harvest your chilies can be a bit of a guessing game. But with a little bit of know-how, you'll soon become a pro. Chilies are generally ready to harvest when they are brightly colored and firm to the touch. If you're growing a variety that changes color as it matures, wait until it's fully colored before picking. And remember, the longer you leave the chilies on the plant, the hotter they'll get. So, if you're after a real tongue tingler, patience is key. Now let's talk about how to harvest these fiery fruits. It's quite simple really. Just snip the chilies off with a pair of garden scissors, leaving a little bit of stem attached. This helps to keep the chilies fresh for longer. And here's a hot tip. Always wear gloves when handling chilies, especially the super hot varieties. The oils can irritate your skin, and trust me, you don't want to accidentally rub your eyes after picking chilies. So, you've harvested a bumper crop of hot chilies. Now what? Well, the possibilities are endless. You can use fresh chilies to spice up your meals, from stir fries to soups. If you're a fan of hot sauce, why not try making your own? It's easier than you might think, and you can adjust the heat level to your liking. If you've got more chilies than you know what to do with, don't worry, you can dry them for later use. Just string them up in a warm, dry place and let them slowly dry out. Once they're completely dry, you can grind them into a potent chili powder. And for the brave among us, there's always the chili eating challenge. Just remember, these are the hottest chilies in the world. You've been warned. There you have it, you've successfully grown your own hottest chilies, now go add some spice to your life.